Hi everybody, I'm Joe. And I'm Mary. And, and we're, we're Book Buds. <laughs> and today, Mary is going to bring us through a beautiful Christmas list of kids books. These are the books that I read with my kids. They just happen to be the ones that I've acquired. I'm sure there's others out there that are beautiful and I would love to hear what they are because I mm. haven't really sought out too many of them. But this is just what we have and what we read and what we enjoy. They're perfect, I can't wait to see them. All right, so the first two we're gonna talk about is the one that you got in front right there and this one. These are ones that come with like the Elf on the Shelf pets, mm. okay? So we have the dog pet and we have the reindeer pet. And you don't know too much about the Elf on the Shelf pets, do you? The pets, no. Right, so the pets, they have to like gather Christmas joy and spirit in their little, they have like a golden heart on their neck, okay? And so they gather all the true believers and all those wonderful spirits so that it can help power the sleigh. That love is needed. Oh, okay in order to have Christmas Day be successful, okay? So the Elf on the Shelf is like, you know, everybody, a lot of people know those. I don't even have the Elf on the Shelf book, quite honestly. Mm. Um, but these, we have these, these pals for them, and we read these all the time to encourage them to send their love into the little golden spot to join the sled, which is really special. Oh, how cool. Yeah. So then what else we got? What would you like me to talk about next? You can pick. Okay, I'll pick. Um, let's do a classic one. The Night Before Christmas. So this was the only one that I sought out to buy because I was like, I need to have The Night Before Christmas because you have to read it on The Night Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I have an alarm in my phone set <laughs> annually to remind me to read this book because like That's it gets funny. busy, you know, visiting yeah. family, doing this and that. You have so many different things going on. Like you could just be like, I need to get them in bed. Christmas is coming mm -hmm. tomorrow. Let's go to sleep and then forget to read the book. And I don't want to mm. mess that up. It's yeah. like the most important time to read this book. Yeah, right. So this one, I had a different one growing up and I feel like the pictures were more beautiful in the one that I had. Mm. Um, it's actually not as much fun to read this one as some of the other silly books. Mm -hmm. um, but it just, it's a classic and it's mandatory, so. Mandatory it is. Yeah, so Good. we have that one. Okay. Then, what else you got there? How about this one? How to Catch an Elf. Okay, How to Catch an Elf is a super silly one, and I have a silly little guy who's nine years old, and he yeah. likes silly things. So this one, um, you've got people, like, it's show the back. It's the Elf Snatcher 3000. People are trying to catch the elf, and there's all these booby traps set, and he's mm. like, you know, dive bombing here and there, and like, it ends in like a pizza explosion or something like that. It's very silly, very cute, and very fun. Very Christmassy. Fun. Yes, we enjoy it in our house. Okay, I've got two more. Okay. So I don't know if everybody knows, but last year in um, Rockefeller Center, our tree that we brought to New York City had an owl. Do you remember that? Yeah. And they named him Rocky, and he was found oh, wow. in November. And like, I feel like two weeks after he was found in that tree, somebody wrote this book and was getting that out there. And this was in my, my son's Christmas gifts from, I think maybe my in-laws. So that book was out in time for Christmas last year mm. <laughs> about Rockefeller, huh. the Christmas owl. So since we got this book on Christmas, we didn't read it last year, and I just read it for the first time maybe like last week or the week before. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a cute little story. It's self-published. It's I think it was hurried, so there's, it's supposed to rhyme and not everything rhymes. And as, <laughs> as I was reading it to my son, I'm like, that doesn't rhyme. And he's like, Mom, they did a good job with this. Oh. I was like, you're right, you're He's right. He's a nice boy. They did a good job with it. <laughs> <laughs> so he approves. And it's a cute little story. At first I was devastated because this owl, you know, he's left in the Rockefeller Christmas tree. He's taken from the farm, taken from his parents. And it's like tragic in this story that he's all alone and he's injured and he needs to be nursed to health and the uh -huh. poor guy. But then at the end of the book, you have a happy ending. Okay. He reunites with his parents and you know, happily ever after for the owl. So it was very cute. I was Good. glad that we read this together and glad that he reframed my negativity. It was really good. <laughs> and then this, Oh, another this, classic. This seriously is my favorite book. <laughs> it's so simple. And my kids are really too old for this, but I don't care. Um, it's Frosty the Snowman, and you basically sing through this entire book. Oh, it's just the song. Perfect. You turn the page, and it's the next bit of the lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, and I, my kids yell at me when I sing along to a song on the radio or something like that, or even if I'm humming. They're like, Mom, you're ruining this song. No joke. <laughs> so the fact that I get to sing when I read this <laughs> book, and they don't interrupt me, makes me happy. I really love it. Um, also at this, the end of this one, because it's like, it's a little kid book, it comes with stickers and you can have like a snowball fight of stickers 
on the last page here. See that? Cute. Love it. Now, this is, you see how haphazard it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> this was probably done when my kids were like, I don't know, four. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's a mess. And they'll still look at it now and they're like, look at what I did with that. <laughs> and they laugh about it. So it's pretty cute. It's kind of nice to revisit the uh, chaos of the stickers that they did when they were little. And this adorable Frosty the Snowman book. Love it. So honestly, out of the six, that's my favorite. Okay. I have the most fun reading it. Yeah. Um, I'd say probably, what do my kids like most? I feel like How to Catch an Elf gets a good giggle out mm -hmm. of my kids. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And they might also like this one the most too. I didn't ask them. I should have asked them before I grabbed them for this. I really love these books, Mary. Thanks, Joe. Puts me in the Christmas spirit. Totally. We have to get them out in time for Christmas to get yes. us going. So. Yes, absolutely. Wondering what books are your favorites from your childhood? If you have one that you're reading now with your kids, let me know because maybe it's one I should pick up for mine. Yes. If you're enjoying Book Buds, give us a thumbs up. And share us with your friends. And subscribe to our channel, Book Buds! Happy holidays. I hope I get something good to read for Christmas. Here comes Santa Claus. Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Oh, how cute! <laughs> They're all blue, isn't that funny? Except for this one. <clears throat> Let's smile. Smile. <clears throat> Are you doing like open mouth? I'm like excited. Christmas is here! <laughs> <laughs>